Are my elbows ashy? I don't. <laughs> here for another wash day hold on i need to get my i didn't jump right in here i need to make sure i know what i'm um filming today mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay sorry gotta make sure that we're keeping on track of what we're doing it's a wash day as usual but today i'm trying um some new products now i tell y'all this all the time so like do as i say now as i do but I personally don't think it's a good idea to try like a whole new routine and technically my whole routine isn't new I have two products I've used before um actually three products I've used before but the rest are new um and I want to try them out for you guys so TPH by Taraji so kindly sent me over this package also if y'all have not seen the new color purple this is not sponsored in any way I was gonna see it with my mom the day after Christmas my scalp has actually been feeling very very congested lately like no matter what i do or how hard i scrub my head it feels like dirty and grimy like two days after wash day now don't know what that's about so they sent over some new stuff um well it's not new stuff but they sent over some products um and some of these i've never used before like this never salty sugar base scalp and hair scrub i can't wait to try this then they also sent over the master cleanse targeted scalp wash and then the mint conditioning mint condition tingling scalp conditioner so i'm going to use both of these i'm going to use this to wash my hair i think i'm also going to use my hask tea tree so i might use this for like my first wash and my second wash i'm going to use my hask tea tree oil shampoo that i always use this is scalp conditioner so i'm going to use this and i'm going to get another conditioner um i don't know which one i'm going to use just yet but i'll make sure to show it to you guys once i do it and then I'm also going to use my scalp scrubber um, when I wash my hair. Um, so two other products that I'm going to use afterwards. The Olaplex actually sent me over some products. And one of you guys asked me this before under one of my videos. Like if a brand sends me product, does that mean like they're paying to be included in my videos or anything like that? Absolutely not. Unless I say today's video is sponsored by this video is not being paid for by anyone um so olaplex sent me some new products um and they're not new but just new to me so first this is an olaplex volumizing blow dry mist they actually reached out to me and said is there anything that you'd like to try because they did send me like their bonding system first um and i told them this was one of the ones actually i told them both of these i was like i for sure want to try this because the kristen s blow dry mist has me like my eyes have been opened to the blow dry mist here lately and then once i blow dry my hair they they sent me over the bonding oil which a lot of you have said that this is so good so it says apply a small amount to damp or dry hair and style as desired oh it has dispensing instructions too it says remove cap turn bottle upside down gently tap the bottle to release a metered drop oh heat protection up to 450 so we're gonna be doubly heat protected um because y'all really look i've never seen more people that are invested in heat protection on somebody else's hair I appreciate the love. For my hairsprays, I'm using my trusty dusties. These are two products I was like, I've used these before. To blow dry my hair today, I'm using my Dyson Supersonic. Low key, ooh, I need to clean my filter. If you have a Dyson, whether you have the air wrap or the blow dryer, you gotta clean the filter down here. Don't forget to do that. You don't need to clean it super often unless you use this like every day. And this is also not the right way to do it, but I'm gonna just, I'm straightening my hair with my Dyson flat iron today. Um, I don't have it here in front of me because it is charging. And then um, to curl my hair, I'm not gonna use a Dyson flat iron to curl my hair. I'm gonna use um, the viral wavy talk little heated barrel brush thing. Okay, for those of you that are new here, I went and grabbed the Hask Tea Tree Shampoo that I'm gonna use. Um, if you're not new, you know stranger to this bottle, you know I use her all the time. Grabbed this too, um, my scalp scrubber. I haven't used this in a minute, so maybe that's why my scalp is feeling so iffy. I'm gonna part my hair. I'm gonna part my hair in a forest to do this because I really wanna get in there and get to my scalp.
and so this is what it, it looks like can you guys see like the nozzle oh it's it smells good and minty like this is about to get to work okay let me read the directions again oh it also says it's infused with apple cider vinegar which is really good for like clarifying coconut and peppermint oils we can smell it now the only thing I will say is if you're using scrubs like this, because I have used some before, you have to make sure you wash your hair super duper, duper, duper good after. And it's, it's kind of hard back here in the back. I probably will do a better job in the front of my head, but. Oh, my hair feels so. Just dirty. It just feels so dirty. Okay, so I'm just going to apply some to my fingers like this. And just kind of line you know how like you just like grease your scalp so i'm apart each section in half i feel like i'm so hot up did i mess with the setting i don't think i did so i'm gonna uh, section each section into two and that's how i'm gonna do it apply it like that and go along my parts So, hair is washed. It feels so good. And I feel like I got everything out of my scalp too. So now let's go in with our conditioner. I've never used this conditioner before. This is their mint condition tingling scalp conditioner. Tanisha told me that this is very good. I'm assuming, and it's like really mint for your scalp. So I did go grab another conditioner. I'll show that to y'all um in a minute they have like these little prongs uh, which makes it so easy to get in to your scalp um okay so that feels nice so that was focused on my scalp and then since i'm using other olaplex products i'm gonna put in the olaplex number five bond maintenance conditioner oh i didn't show Okay, it doesn't say how long you let this sit for, but we're just gonna use our best judgment. So after this, we'll only have like two more prod, ooh. When I tell you it's tingling, it feels actually, why do we sit and let this tingle? I had asked y'all some questions on Instagram, the Kitchen Beautician's chat. Well, let's see what Tanisha is saying what is her concealer this is what tanisha uses me for she asks me like and i could probably tell just by looking at it let me see anyways so y'all asked me some questions um or i asked y'all what did y'all want to know so let's do a little q a shall we so first question i got was how often do you incorporate protein treatments in your regimen i've gotten this question a couple of times i don't know because half the time, I don't know if the product I'm using is a protein treatment. And I feel like people get angry when I say that. And they're like, um, like, I guess their mindset is like, why are you telling us stuff if you don't know? Because I'm not a beautician. I like, I'm not trained. I say that all the time. I'm not trained. I just do what I think looks and feels right for my hair. Can you try out the Tymo Ring Straightener? You know, Tymo has been in my inbox a couple of times wanting me to do something with them. Um, I'm not the biggest creator, but Tymo's not paying the coin. How long it took you to grow your length? Most of the times though, when people are asking this question, I think they're trying to get at like, what do you do to like get your hair to like grow with a relaxer? I, without a doubt, there are two things that have helped me get to this point with my hair. It's Jamaican black castor oil and leaving it alone every single summer. 
you have to give your hair a chance to just rest and chill because I personally don't think I'd be able to stretch my relaxer that long um, without wearing my hair in a protective style. Your hair starts to get knotted and tangled and I've gotten a lot of questions about that too. I'm gonna just throw that in here even though nobody asked it in here. What do I do specifically to stop my new growth from getting so tangled up like when I wash my hair or what do you do for retention when you're stretching your relaxer for so long? I put it up. That's the only thing. I've also gotten questions too. I'm gonna just throw in a couple that I've like gotten like over the past week or so that I feel like are pretty common. I've also gotten a question too about like other people that do relaxer content on here. Only thing I can say y'all is like everybody does their hair differently. The other question I've been getting a lot lately is how do I do like moisture and seal on my hair like during the week? I don't. But the next question, random, but please can you show how much hair you shed after a typical wash? It's kind of hard y'all because I sit here and I do my hair and then I vacuum right after. Had to cut my hair off because of hard water, a new place. Any recs for filters? Um, I don't have any recommendations personally for filters. Um, one brand that I've been seeing everywhere, they actually just um, reached out to me to send me some products. Is that brand Jolie? It's like a shower head filter or Jolly. Jo I don't know what it's called, but y'all have seen these before. You have to have seen them on TikTok because they're like everywhere. So if I actually get it, I will test it out and try it for you guys and let you know. And then how to combat shedding. If your hair is shedding a lot, those are the end of the questions, by the way. If your hair is shedding a lot, um, you might want to consider a haircut. Um, it might be maybe your hair is not shedding, but it's breaking off. And shedding and breaking off are two different things. Okay, so when I tell y'all my scalp feels so good. So I'm going to, let me just clean off my, my comb real quick. So we're going to be using the Olaplex Volumizing Mist. I'm focus on, okay, I already read that to y'all. When I tell you my scalp is so squeaky clean feeling right now. Okay, it's time to do our field test. My hands are like Nothing is on them. I'm so nervous. Oh no, it feels, ooh, that feels good. Like it doesn't feel dry and brittle. Like, I don't know how to explain how your hair should feel. It shouldn't feel dry and brittle. That's not what I'm saying. It should feel like soft and lush, but still feel like you don't really have product on there. Let's answer another question that I get a lot, and maybe not even a question, but it's a statement that I see a lot on my content, and that's about how many passes I do when I am straightening my hair. So, let, let me walk you through it step by step, okay? My first two passes, and I do more than one, okay? My first two passes are generally for my roots, okay? So because this section is wide, I'm hitting this and I stop. I do not bring the flat iron all the way down. And then I'm hitting the other side. Stop, not bringing it all the way down. Does it overlap a little bit when I'm hitting this side of this section and this side? Yeah, could I use smaller sections so I'm not overlapping? Yeah, I don't feel like it. Then I take my chasing comb, put it in, and I bring it up to the point where my flat iron stopped. And I can easily tell because it's straight and then it gets kinky. Does it overlap here a little bit? Yeah, I don't care. And then I pull it all the way down. So, contrary to popular belief, <laughs> I'm not like flat ironing my hair over and over again. But I do also feel like um, you have to be like super skilled in order to get like that silkiness and straightness with like literally just one pass of flat iron. I'm not there yet.
So I think I'm seeing where the problem is. I'm just going to do that. Just look at how much cleaner the ends of my hair look. I would much rather my hair look like this than to have it be like way longer and it to be like. As I'm actually like using this on clean hair today, I'm gonna turn it up to two. It has two heat settings. The first time I used it when my hair was dirty, I used it on the first heat setting because I was being conscious of the fact that my hair is dirty and I didn't want to fry it.
All right, so this is what our hair looks like after we styled it, washed it with all the new products. Um, I did put a little bit more oil. I don't know if I included that clip or not, um, but I put three more drops of oil in my hair after I took it down. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little worried when I was taking my hair down because it just looked like, ooh. But this was the look I was going for, like a very curled inward, which is different for me because I usually like curl my hair outward, but a very curled inward, almost like 90s type of look. Um, like the blowout look that everybody is talking about or whatever. Um, and I do think that that brush, like the heated brush, if that is a look that you like, I would definitely go ahead and pick it up because yes, you can get the same look using a flat iron or a curling iron or whatever heat tool you already have. But I do think that there's something to it. It's like there's an ease to it. It's almost almost making me think i want to go ahead and try round brushing my hair like my wet hair i'm just really afraid it's gonna pull all my hair out but that's for another day this is a nice oil okay olaplex i see what the world is talking about now i think our hair came out cute so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time